Hey guys, I'm Priyil back again with another video on this iPhone 12. In this video, let's check on the battery charging speed of this device. What I'm going to do, first of all, I'll be using this 18 watt charger that I've got with Pixel 4a. After that, I'll be using this Apple's own 30 watt charger. Okay, now the thing is that Apple really cares for the environment. You know, that is the reason that they had shown when they decided not to include chargers in the box with their smartphones. So the fact is that you don't get a you know, charger in the box with iPhone 12 or any other iPhones. So if you have bought this recently, you must be wondering what is the maximum charging speed that this will support or whether you can go for a high watt charger or not, right? Or whether you can use any existing one. So in this video, I'll be trying to help you with this. First of all, we'll see that whether it supports 30 watt charger or not okay now i have this 18 watt charger okay so we'll see that if there is any significant difference when we use this one and this one later okay so before we start if you're new to my channel then do hit the subscribe button and if you've already subscribed a big thank you to all of you guys so let's get started so you can see that it is fully discharged and the battery level is at zero so first of all let's uh, start with this 18 watt charger and we'll see that how long will it take to reach from zero to 100. Okay, so let's get started. So let's start this charging. Okay, and I'll be tracking the time using the stopwatch. And we'll see that uh, how long does it take. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so we'll be checking after 30 minutes. So guys, we have just completed 30 minutes. Now let's check the battery level. And you can see that we have reached, uh, let me unlock this. Yeah, you can see that we have reached 54%. Uh, so that's good, yeah. So in 30 minutes, it can reach up to 54% uh, from zero, yeah. So now let's wait another one hour. That means uh, another 30 minutes, yeah. Just completed one hour and the battery percentage is at 84%. Okay, so that's really good speed, I believe. Now let's wait, how long will it take to, you know, reach 100%. So guys, you can see that finally it is done and it took one hour, 51 minutes, okay? So after this, what I'm going to do, this will be a challenge because now I have to drain it again to zero. And after that, we'll be trying the 30 watt charger, okay? So you can see that it is totally drained and uh, let's use this 30 watts charger now and we'll see that how significant will be the difference. So let's connect this one, okay? And let's start this watch, done, okay? Now I'll be checking after 30 minutes. So guys, you can see that we have just completed 30 minutes. Now let's check the battery level, okay? And let me unload this. So you can see that it is at 56%. And when we used uh, this one, uh, this 18 watt charger, the battery level after 30 minutes, it was at 54. So there is no significant difference. Now let's check it after another 30 minutes. So guys, we can see that uh, we have just completed one hour. Now let's check the battery percentage. And uh, let me unlock this. Yeah. Now we are at 85%, okay? Now let's see that how long will it take to completely charge this device, you know, from zero to 100. Like we have reached 85% in 60 minutes. So let's wait for, I believe that it will be done around one hour, 45 minutes. So guys, you can see that finally we have, you know, reached 100%. And with this 30 watts charger, it took one hour 47 minutes so guys we have seen that there is no significant difference when it comes to charging this device from 0 to 100 using this 18 watt charger it took one hour 51 minutes and this 30 watt charger from apple it took one hour 47 minutes so please do not waste your money on this 30 watt charger because this iphone 12 which comes with 2815 mh battery i believe doesn't support 30 watt charging okay so instead of buying this 30 watt charger if you don't have any existing you know 18 watt or 15 watt chargers at home then you should go for apple's 
20 watt charger and that will also I think will take uh, around one hour 45 minutes to charge this fully so this is what I think so let me know what do you think about it and um, you know if you end up liking my videos then do subscribe and do give your feedbacks okay so that I can make things better in here okay and I can come up with more videos for you guys so till the next video guys cheers